The ZK Sync era mainnet has just launched, and while you can't send your funds from a centralized exchange to this brand new network, there are some bridges that you can use instead. I'll be showing you some of the methods you can use to bridge your funds over, and stick to the end of the video as I show you one method that does not cost any fees at all. Right now, I'm on the official ZK Sync bridge, and the main drawback of this method is that you can only send funds from the Ethereum mainnet to ZK Sync era. The gas fees on Ethereum are usually very expensive, so it may not be worth it to bridge your funds over, especially if you are only using a small amount amount of Ethereum. If you don't want to use this method, you need to have some ETH tokens in the Ethereum mainnet and you can enter the amount that you wish to bridge over. The amount that I'm bridging over is only 0.005 Ethereum and the gas fees that I need to pay is around 0.003. The fees are really high and it may be best for you to use other methods instead. Another platform that you can consider is Multichain, where it allows you to bridge your funds across multiple networks. The good thing about this is that you can send Ethereum that you have on other networks such as Arbitrum or Polygon and they can be bridged over to the ZK Sync era mainnet. The gas fees are much cheaper on other networks apart from Ethereum, so you should be saving quite a significant amount. You still need to pay a small amount of gas fee for this transaction, which is something that Multichain charges on top of the network fees. And Another thing to take note of is the minimum cross-chain amount, which is 0.005 Ethereum. While browsing on Twitter, I actually came across this protocol known as Rhino Finance, and they are not charging any fees for the first 48 hours if you are bridging your funds over to the ZK Sync era mainnet. I'll be showing you how to use this protocol, as I also bridge over some of my Ethereum. If you are using Rhino Finance for the first time, you may need to approve a signature request like the one that you see here. My funds are being secured in my Ledger wallet, so after I click on this sign button, I will need to physically approve this message on the device as well. There will be this second request that you need to approve as well. And this allows Rhino Finance to approve high-speed off-chain transactions without constantly needing your approval. I'm on the bridge page on Rhino Finance and it is now asking me to deposit some funds to the platform. In contrast to the multi-chain bridge where you can bridge Ethereum from any of these networks, you are only limited to these three networks on Rhino Finance. The one that I'll be using today is Arbitrum as the gas fees are much cheaper compared to Ethereum. You need to have some Ethereum on this particular network. I have another video and I'll leave it in the description below where I show you the cheapest way of sending Ethereum to the Arbitrum network. I'll be depositing 0.03 ETH from the Arbitrum network work into Rhino Finance. So the gas fees here only cost 31 cents and this is way cheaper compared to bridging it directly from the Ethereum network. So right now I'll just confirm this transaction on my Ledger wallet. The deposit has been a success and you may need to wait a while before the balances are reflected in your application. The next step is for me to send it over to the ZK Sync mainnet. If I wanted to bridge the fees over to Arbitrum, it will cost about $3 worth of Ethereum. The good thing is that right now Rhino Finance is still having this promotion so I do not need to pay any fees when I'm bridging over to the ZK Sync mainnet. I can enter the amount of Ethereum that I wish to send over and once I click on confirm withdrawal, you may need to wait a few minutes before your funds are being reflected on ZK Sync era. The problem with Rhino Finance is that it does not provide any notifications once your bridging transaction is completed. One of the ways that you can confirm this is by going to ZK Sync's Blockchain Explorer and you can paste your wallet address that you copied over from Metamask. It currently shows that I have 0.03 Ethereum on ZK Sync era and this was the transaction that bridged my funds over from Rhino Finance. I'm not too sure what the fees will be like on Rhino Finance once the 48 hours are up. So you can sort of take an indication from the Arbitrum network where it charges around 0.0015 Ethereum. If Rhino Finance charges the same amount when you are bridging over to ZK Sync era, you may want to use multi-chain instead as the fees that they charge are much lower at about 0.0006 Ethereum. Another bridge that allows you to bridge over to ZK Sync era is known as Orbital Finance. They did show in this screenshot that you are able to bridge over from ZK Sync Lite, which is the first version of the mainnet, to ZK Sync era, which is the later version. The only problem is when I tried this out, I was only able to see the option for ZK Sync Lite and not ZK Sync era. Do let me know in the comments if you are experiencing this issue as well or if you are able to bridge your funds over using Orbital Finance. Now that you have your funds on ZK Sync era, I'll be linking to a video here where I'll show you some of the actions you can perform so that you can qualify for the potential ZK Sync airdrop.